Hey, 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 happy day. What's she up to now? Day 441. 440 days, today 441. I have documented on Facebook Live, scary, what I'm doing as I transition from the offline brick and mortar world of real businesses to the online world and how I could replicate the success I had in the offline world to the online world. I'm going to tell you, I'm not there yet, but I am getting there and I'm working on it. Yesterday, I decided late in the day that I'm going to write a book called Challenge Secrets because I am like the challenge queen. I have got so much information and so much experience dealing with challenges. It is kind of mind-bogglingly magical, right? And so I've I, it's it's been ruminating for a long time. And I've written a book before, but no one has read it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody. Because I wrote it for me, just like I do challenges. I originally started doing challenges just for me and for my own personal development and to create what I wanted to create in my life. And so I, I do that with everything. I start out and I practice on myself. And then when I figure it out for myself, then I share it with other people. And after I share it with a lot of other people, then I know it's time to maybe share it with more people and share it with like the world, the world, right? That's that saying my kids did when they were little. It cracked me up. It's from some movie. I can't remember, but they would always say, something about they were going to do this and impact the world, the world, you know, the, the small world and then the bigger world. So we do that with everything. We impact our lives and the lives of those right around us. And then once we've got that handled, then we have the ability to impact the bigger world, other people. You know, it's the like the expression, we can't get poor enough to help the poor. We have to get wealthy and have abundance so that we have more to give and help other people. And so challenge secrets, I'm definitely going to be, I already started writing challenge secrets and we'll see how fast I can write that while I'm doing everything else that I'm doing, right? Um, the, what else am I doing? What am I working on? I love Sundays because Sundays are sort of a hodgepodge relaxing catch up day for me, especially since I've been watching my granddaughter. I have found that my Sundays are a lot busier than they used to be. They used to be more about relaxing and enjoying relationships and times with family and friends and now they're more about catching up on the things that I didn't do or didn't didn't get done during the week um, making sure that all of my customers and clients are taken care of in the best way possible making sure they're all their questions are answered doing my own um, creative works and projects and challenges and now I just added one more challenge challenge secrets a book about challenges to really help people overcome their challenges because there's there's so much around that I mean and so often we bemoan and, and bitch and moan and complain about our challenges when they're the way that we grow. They're what actually causes us to be who we're here to be. They cause us to break through the, the things that have been holding us back. You know, they say our mess is our message. The same is true of our problems and our experiences that are negative. Those are the ones that cause us to grow. When we're just swimming through life and everything's honky-dory and going fine, we're just swimming through life and everything is fine. We're not really growing or expanding or changing. Very few people have the ability to expand and become more when things are going really, really well. Um, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it's absolutely positively true. Think about your life. Think back over your life and about the experiences that have changed you, the experiences that have really propelled you forward. It was almost always because of something bad that happened or something that you considered bad that happened, right? And now when we look back on that bad thing, we're, we think, oh my God, that's the best thing that ever happened to me. Me losing my job a couple of times was actually the best thing that ever happened to me because it propelled me to what it was that I need to have happen in my life. Actually, me, me having a sudden cardiac arrest and dying, most people would think dying is a really bad thing. To me, it was the best thing that ever happened to me because it gave me permission to go on a totally different route, to go after what I personally really wanted to do after decades of serving other people. And I mean, not serving other people, but taking care of other people, my family and, and those I love and care about, which is still part of what I do, but it's not all of what I do. So think about what is something that you really, really want to do and have really wanted to do for a long time that you're maybe not doing yet. And just take one step toward that. What is one thing that you can do to move you towards that thing that you want? Um, 
I got a whole bunch of those things right now that I'm working on. I'll be honest. There's, there's a lot of things in my life that are just sort of a hodgepodge. And I realized that's not good enough for me. And I, like everybody else, deserve better in certain areas and aspects of my life. And nobody is going to create that better except me. Nobody is going to want and go after that better thing, that different thing than me. I guess that's the difference. Uh, bad things tend to make us look for massive changes versus when things are going well, we just try to like improve them and make them a little better all the time. And not everybody does that. A lot of people just float and go with the flow and don't try to make things better. Some of us have this continuous improvement philosophy ingrained in us. Um, think of people that you know that are always reading and learning and growing and trying new things and um, becoming a better person. Now, unfortunately, a lot of times those people are ridiculed by everybody else or put down by everybody else because they are trying to improve or change or do something different than they've always done. Because the people that are criticizing don't understand that they could do it too. It's available to all of us. So go out and make it an awesome, amazing Sunday. And I will, of course, check in with you tomorrow.